Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glister Elf here. The FNM at home event this time around is Brawl. Not historic Brawl, just standard, regular old Brawl that we actually get to practice a decent bit on Arena. So, as you can see, what I'll be running is a Vivian deck. Now, Vivian is obviously mono green. She's the spam creatures from the top of your deck, Planeswalker. She lets you look at the top card, not reveal, look at, and then you can cast creatures from the top of your library. So you can get to a point, because this deck is mostly creatures, where you can just, every turn, play creature after creature after creature. It stops when you hit a land, or Garouk, or Return of the Wild Speaker. But other than that, I think everything else in the deck is a creature. And looking at the list we have, let's see, yeah, 33 creatures, so you're decently likely to hit a creature going forward. If you don't, there's a little bit of selection you can do at the top of your deck, things like Fierce Empath or just drawing a card, but for the most part, you just value. Even if you can't play a creature off of the top, she herself can make Beast, and eventually you can use... She doesn't have a traditional ult, like a like what Garouk would have, where it's just a game-winning minus... I don't know, like 7, 8, 9, whatever. Instead, you just have, when you cast a creature this turn, search your library for a creature with... Uh, lesser CMC. So you can also use that to check the top of your deck to try to find something else. Though you need quite a bit of mana for that. Oh, but yeah, there you go. That's that's Vivian. And then for the... Oh, uh, Adventurous Impulse. That's another one. Uh, for the actual deck itself, I'm just going to go through it one at a time. There's a deck list in the description, but you can also just pause in 1080p uh, if you'd like to see what all we have in here. You know, I'll, I'll read them out loud for the people that are listening. We have Adventurous Impulse, Flaxen Intruder, Gilded Goose, Mysterious Egg, Essence Symbiote, Humble Naturalist, Elysian Caryatid, Lotus Cobra, Scavenging Ooze, Tangled Florahedron, Wildborn, Preser Born, Wildborn Preserver, <laughs> Woodland Mystic, Fierce Empath, Garuk's Uprising, Glowstone Recluse, Kazandu Mammoth, Lenoir Visionary, Lovestruck Beast, Scoot Swarm, Thrashing Brontodon, Garuk Unleashed, Gem Razor, Migratory Greathorn, Renata Called to the Hunt, Auspicious Starix, Elder Gogoroth, Gigantosaurus, playing 5 mana 10 10s, so let's go, Return of the Wildspeaker, Feasting Troll King, Kogla the Titanate, Beanstalk Giant, Rampaging Brontodon, Thorn Mammoth, Tree Shaker Chimera, Titanoth Rex, and Stone Coil Serpent, and Wildwood Scourge along with 21 Forest and a Bonders Enclave. Alright, so 22 lands, 23 if we count the Mammoth. And, yeah, that's it. Let's jump in. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I forgot something. Let me see if I can cut the volume up just a little bit. Just a mite. Or at all. Any volume at all. Alright, let's see. Oh, we do have some. Oh, well, now we have more. More ha 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 ha. We have more. Alright, there we go. <sighs> Alright, there we go. I can hear it now. Maybe you all could hear it and I just couldn't. It's a laptop, I don't have my headphones on, all that jazz. Hi, Ringo. Also, uh, this my ability to think in this episode brought to you by coffee as always, but uh, does Folgers count as coffee or is it just mud? It, it's dirt with water added to it. I'm not sure. But I didn't want it to go to waste. Okay. Uh, one, I guess, weakness to the deck is that unlike a historic counterpart, there aren't a lot of one drops in here, unfortunately. So let's start off by playing our ramp creature, of course. We can next turn use Brontodon to blow up the Signet if it looks like that might gain us some advantage. And by the way, this is the Grackmaw Skyclave Ravager. So it looks like that's what we might be seeing coming up here. It's the uh, uh, Ozolith commander. Ooh. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. Uh-oh, are we blowing it? Are we killing it? You're killing me, Smalls. Hmm. We do have scavenging is to try to go oh, god. Okay. Well then. That's okay. That's okay. We can make this work. Brontodon. Blow it up. Totally worth it. 
Maybe. Maybe. Now, Garuk's uprising is, uh... Hmm. I'd like to try to wait until I can use it and get a, a draw from it on entering the battlefield, but that's okay if I can't. One of the handful of non-land non-creatures in the deck. Uh-oh. 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 Uh, folks, I don't think we're gonna make it this game. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, how am I going to do this? I can play Vivian. She's about to take two if I do, which might still be okay. Yeah, this... that just seems to slow... like... Well, it's okay. Let's try it. Let's cast our... cast our commander here. Alright. We need one with reach. To block the scavenger. Oh, and we have a Gigantosaurus next turn. I wish that that meant more in Forge. Well, so we're about to take two to Vivian, and I could pop her so that Gigantosaurus could turn into a four drop. I don't know that that's enough, though. Eventually, we can. We do have fight creatures in the deck. Unfortunately, one of the issues with Mono Green is that it's not too easy to come from behind, generally. Uh oh, never mind. We don't have things like Wraths, for instance. Yeah, this is a problem. Oops. I don't know what they're saying oops about. Maybe they missed something. Oh, we have a crash. Oh no, we have a crash! No! Oh, wait, wait, wait. Nope, it died. I don't know if you could see it, but for me a little window popped up that said, uh, Unity error something or other. I didn't, I didn't catch the time. I should have, t I should have taken a screenshot. Oy, oy, oy. Oh, that's going to make it look like I rage quit. Oh, well, I don't think that's my internet. I think that's actually Arena itself. Um, because I, I've gotten a different message. When, oh, no, wait, we're, we're, st we're back in it. We're back. Uh, uh-oh. I heard a sound that I think means my turn's about to be over. Ooh, okay. Ooh, no, 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 no. Let's, uh, let's just play the big boy. Oh, that's probably not right. If I had thought about it, I could have played the Mammoth instead. Alright. I uh, played Gilded Goose, Mammoth, because the Mammoth could still block the 2 2. Alright. Well, hopefully, this buys us some time. Hopefully. I'm sure that as a, as a Golgari deck, they'll have plenty of ways to kill Gigantosaurus. Although, this is standard, so not as many. Okay. That's that's a that's a decent buff actually. Holy crap! Mutate on a Nighthawk scavenger. <laughs> As you may have seen, I am running all of the uh, mono green mutate creatures. Yeah, it didn't work the way that they thought it would work, but now it has trample, which will matter if I get Vivian back out. So I can't, I can't really get onto them. Let's see what's in their graveyard. All right, so scavenging. Uh, no, you were ahead. No. Oh, okay. I, I guess they just. Poor Ringo. Poor Ringo. That's that's a weird game. That's. Um. I was trying to see if we had enough creatures in the graveyard to try to make scavenging ooze a thing. Another inscription of ruin. I think Arena, like how it gave me four Sanctum of Alls, I think Arena is trying to tell me to try to run uh, Eight Rack again, or some sort of discard deck. I've done it before in Standard, back in uh, Shadows and Eldritch Moon, back in that Standard. Uh, but I don't know about doing it again. Ah! Oh, I might. I just might. Okay, okay. 
Well, I think that's only number three. Uh, we'll we'll keep it going. You know what? Actually, whoa, 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 whoa. I have a few packs to open. We'll we'll open a couple now, and then we'll open the rest later. Um, see, I was trying to do a um, a speed run for you know it, how to trying to get 15 wins as quickly as possible for Brawl, uh, but I had another arena crash. So maybe next week. <laughs> Uh, but I do have all these packs now. Let's see. Oh, so I've heard people try to make this a thing for Infect. Uh, it is not, unfortunately. Uh, it doesn't give any buff on its own, and it, although it does attach immediately, so presumably you have the creature, you can attach it, it's hard to reattach when you lose your creature, and it doesn't give any buff unless you have landfall. Now, in the context of something like Modern, well, actually, any format where it infects a thing, you can use fetch lands, which makes it effectively plus four, plus four. But even then, you only need one hit to kill anyway, and so Groundswell is probably better. It doesn't offer any other buffs, no trample, no protection, anything like that. Um, and... I guess maybe if you expect a ton of... Like, it, maybe if you had, like, a sideboard Geist of St. Traft or an Invisible Stalker, then I could see it working better, actually. Uh, some sort of hexproof or just turn into a Bogles deck. I could see that. Um, but otherwise, no, I, I can't say. Okay, okay. I've seen this get used quite a bit in Brawl on here. I think I've seen Charix more than any other commander in Brawl so far. Uh, at least since, well, since... I started paying attention to it. Uh, there's probably a reason for that. Probably. Probably! <laughs> Better known as T1 Glistener Hawking. Um, huh, if I could find this on a creature that, well, I already have plenty of fight creatures in the deck right now. Another Symbiosis. Okay. I got one as one of my renewal rewards. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll take another one. <laughs> that seems good by me. I uh, will open one more while we're here, and we'll open the rest afterwards. All right. Hello. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hello. I have another rare wild card. All one of them, because I spent two just making this deck. <laughs> Gilded Goose and Stone Coil Serpent. And I have another Ancient Green Warden. Okay. It, it's the kind of card I probably wouldn't have as more than one anyway. Although I do understand there is a a historic uh, deck that makes takes advantage of this, but even then, you have Crucible of Worlds and Kazandu, uh, Ramanup Excavator, uh, which are both three mana. So I don't, I don't know about that. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but but yes, there is a, a a neat little thing that you can do with Ancient Green Warden, and I think it's Mystic Sanctuary, and you can put two back on top of your deck, and you can just keep doing silly stuff. I don't... <laughs> I kind of want to experiment with that now. Alright, so let's jump back in. Oh, there we go. I can feel my back. I, I'm i not even lying down or anything, and it feels like it's popping like an accordion. If there were a bar up here, I could just pull on just... just to help out with that. That'd be nice. Okay. Hi, Dodd. Oh, Croxa! That's actually another one that I have. I have Croxa, Luris, and of course Vivian. I mean, this is... Ev I mean, we're assuming that we're going to get there. We're assuming we're going to get past three mana. As much as it would be nice to have a one drop here, uh, we'll be alright. We'll be okay. I'll make a historic Vivian deck at some point, um, but just there isn't historic brawl consistently on Arena, so... Um, to be honest, it isn't the highest priority of mine. Okay, give him the hello. Alright, in, in before Croxa. Uh, no, Signet. Arca everyone has an arcane Signet. You've got a Signet, you've got a Signet, you've got a Signet. You fools, we all have got Signets. Signets, Signets. I know what I meant to say. Hmm. Being a 6-6, it can fight Croxa, but 
I have a sneaking suspicion we're not going to get a chance to do that. Scoot Swarm might actually be really good for uh, holding Crocs aback because it can just keep making 1-1s, one -ones. if nothing else, 1-1s, one -ones. and then of course later copies of itself. With Mutate, when it makes a copy of itself, it copies the mutated characteristics too. So, Migratory Great Horn, you're making a bunch of 3-4s. Alright, the giant makes sense there. We successfully tricked our opponent into thinking that we had one in our in our uh, hand, a mutate in our hand. Oh, we're doing it now. Okay. Ah, uh, that's a good question. We're going to go with Thorn Mammoth. Maybe it should have been the Chimera instead because it's higher mana. Uh, we can cast the Scoot Swarm here, but I'm actually going to wait so that I can definitely get one trigger out of it. We're not going to attack with it anyway, so that's not a serious consideration. Also, no cards in their graveyard yet. I'm waiting for it. It's a Croxa deck. Just not yet. Ah! Oh, you, you jerk. Okay. Well, hmm. Now we do need to get rid of the Chimera. No, actually we could do a land. As much as I would like to, I would really like to get Vivian out soon. I think we have to take a risk. No, no, let's not. Bird in the hand. Okay. That's, that's going to suck. What's, her minus is seven. Oh! Oops. Okay, okay. Now what do I do? Why did I do that? I just... Why did I do that? Okay. We can't afford to take too many more turns off. Alright, let's play out a 2-3 and make them kill it. That would have been nice to have on a Scoot Swarm instead. It might end up working out. That that certainly wasn't intended, but it might end up working out, because we might get to the point... Oh! Hi, Black Knight! Where we have six lands. We can play Scoot Swarm, play a land, get a copy. And then that'll hopefully help us play around removal. Ooh! Yeah, that's the only thing they could take. Uh, okay. I imagine that they're thinking something to the effect of, why on earth didn't you use the Scoot Swarm last turn? Do they not? Oh! Oh, they didn't use Liliana because they want to keep their card. Okay. That works. That definitely works. Okay. Here we can go for Vivian. Hmm. This has Reach. Yeah, let's do it. Let's play Vivian, and then we'll have a land for sure next turn, unless they use... Um, here we go. Make, a, make one with Reach, and pass the turn. There we go. Woo! Unless they use Liliana. Actually, they don't know it, but we have a land on top of our deck. So if they do use Liliana, we'll just drop the Florahedron. And they don't have enough to play Croxa back, and even if they did, they don't have Red Red. Well, yes they do, they have Arcane Signet. Arcane Signet. Freaking Arcane Signet. That is one of my patrons, Rukulins. That is absolutely 1000% her invitational card. <laughs> or at least judging by how frequently it comes up in Brawl. You know, a singleton format. Me being T1 Glistener Elf. <laughs> At least that's a four of. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> decisions, decisions. Oh, yeah, yeah. Itchiness. All of the itchiness. I will say that all of the things being equal, playing a deck that runs something like Agonizing Remorse, I, I really like Thoughtseize as a card to play with. To play against... It's just kind of a thing, but to play with, I feel like it's one of the more rewarding, skill-intensive cards. 
on Brawl. It's not something like a brainstorm where there's like, you could almost literally write a book. Actually, no, you probably could. There's already someone, Stephen Menendian, who's written a book on Gush, the card Gush. So yeah, you probably could write a book on Brainstorm. Huh. Gee, I wonder... Actually, no, I do wonder. Um, this will turn into a 3-3 just by blocking it. Alright. So we were going to lose our creature either way, but now it's a 3-3. Uh, the way that it's worded is that it attacks each combat of Able, no choice. If damage would be dealt to it while it has a counter on it, prevent that and remove a plus one plus one counter from it. Okay, so we have a gem razor on top. Alright, make a copy. Let's see if they have a response. Aha! Okay then. Hmm. I actually don't know how Mutate works with Vivian here. Mutate is if you cast it for its Mutate cost. Okay. Well, actually, no, I do know how, because it's letting me do so. It's letting me cast it. Oh, no, it's fine, it's fine. It works out. It works out. Let's put it onto the token version of it. Uh, let's put it over, and blow this one up. And it has reach, and trample, for some reason. Why does this thing have reach? I guess because it's throwing the rocks into the air? I guess? That's my, that's my story and I'm sticking with it. We're gonna put another one with reach out. Uh, we might have enough reach to make this work regardless. Don't want to wait for too long though. We could have held back, and that might have been smarter, but I really don't want to wait for too much longer. We are also fueling our opponent's graveyard. That's four pl uh, counting Croxa, so three uh, for escape. Which means they could, no, not realistically this turn. Man, this is going to be a silly next turn. Yeah, okay. You sort of expect that, but still. Uh, yes, let's move her to our commander zone. We can do it again later on, but for right now, I think we'll just take joy in the fact that we're about to get uh, another 4-4, four, four, and it's just going to keep getting out of control. We're actually about to get two 4 no, no, we're not. Not anymore. They used the plus there. If they had not, then, well, there you go. They don't have a choice. They have to attack with it. Let's do it. Let's get that one. Yay, triggers. And we just scoot swarm. Gets to go out of control. Just a little bit. A little bit. Itty bitty teeny tiny bit. Now my daily quest is I have to attack with 30 creatures. I'm nowhere close to that. Thassa's, is... oh, another Thassa's intervention. That's going into Jeskai Flash. Or Jeska Yoria. Or both. Let's put it in both. It's a good card. Alright, I think it only said we've gotten... We've attacked with... Was it two? One! <laughs> we've attacked with one creature. I think we need to switch to a different deck if we're actually going to do that anytime soon. So, uh... Pardon me, I'm gonna go play some Historic real quick. And you know what? I said I'd open some packs first. Let's do that. Let's open a few. We can do that. It won't take too long. Ooh, okay. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think if I can make any of these work in any deck ideas I have. Yeah, that one I can. That one, <laughs> it's a two mana four four. It, it, it says a one three. It's actually a four four, folks. When you play it in historic, at least. It, it's not that hard. And another duelist. Zulaport duelist. Zulu, yeah. A Blade Master, another Mammoth. Alright, um, maybe I should try out Zoo. Zoo is a thing again in Standard, and it won't be forever, so <laughs> at some point, maybe, just maybe, I'll give Zoo a try. <laughs> Landfall the dot deck. Alright. And then, um, Double Strike, Equipped Warriors, you have control of Double Strike. 
Uh, there's somebody over at my LGS that plays a modern deck called Hammer Time, the Colossus Hammer deck. Uh, and I don't think, I mean, he for some reason is not going the Infect route, he's going the Double Strike Trample route. Uh, so maybe, given that, maybe he could go for Blade Master shenanigans. I will, however, I absolutely will convince him at some point to play uh, Infect. I, I told him if I'm not running Infect one day, I'll let him borrow my Ink Moth Nexi. Nexi? Nexi, right? Nexuses, whatever. Nexuses. Why does this thing come in tapped? It could have just been like an unclaimed territory. Well, that's a bunch of different types, and those are all pretty broad types, so I guess I can understand. There's certainly a side of me that wishes that it didn't come in tapped, though. Or maybe if you made it where it didn't tap for colorless, but it didn't come in tapped either. It only could tap for mana for those types. Uh, it just feels... Like, even in standard, where it's supposed to be okay. Uh, lackluster. Alright. But then again, I guess that's because I play a lot of modern. I play too much modern and legacy and whatnot. And I was thinking, Cavern of Souls, Unclaimed Territory, Ancient Ziggurat, Base Camp, let's go. Another Inscription of Abundance. Okay, the first one was cool. The second one was alright. Why? <laughs> Stop giving me this card, please. I will save the last one for when we've attacked with 30 creatures. Only attack with one cheese. Well, it won't take... Oh, uh, it's fine. I'll show, you after, I'll show you the deck list after the first game, so stay tuned. I I've done some weird stuff to it. That's an understatement. Basically, I figured out how to put another lord into the deck. And it's Merfolk, so we already have two lords. Uh, this is... It's double trickster and a forest in hand. And the brazen borrower... I need, I need an island, badly, here. Oh, okay, and we have Luris shenanigans. <coughs> okay. Well, I, I still need to play the territory first. I'm gonna give away that I'm playing Merfolk, but if I find... a island, and I played the forest, I won't have access to the tricksters. Core Spirit Dancer, dear god. Okay. Well, if we get a chance, let, let's put a stop on our opponent's upkeep so I don't forget. Ah, uh, we didn't get there. Uh-oh. Okay, we were gonna try to put Merfolk Trickster out, blanking the Spirit Dancer for a turn. Ah, uh, crap. Okay, but it's okay, we have Brazen Borrower. We can still make it work. Maybe. So the idea is that once they put enough on the Spirit Dancer, we can use Brazen Borrower there. Alright, well we have an island. This is going to hurt. Oh, and it's the uh, Azorius list. So we have to actually contend with Curiosity, or Curious Obsession, and Staggering Insight. Which is okay. Merfolk Trickster tapping the creature down, if it if they only had one creature, would let me actually get rid of their Curious Obsession, because then they couldn't attack for that turn. The way that Obsession works, it's not the creature that has to attack, if you didn't attack with a creature this turn. Uh, that said, we have to go. Yeah, this is really unfortunate. Alright. And they get to draw a card. Draw your less pathetic card, Kai. No, no, Kaiba says that. Draw your last pathetic card, Yugi. My grandpa- wait. No, it is Yami that says that, though. My granddad's deck has no pathetic cards. There's my lord, by the way. Icon of Ancestry. That's my, my third lord. Uh, not that we get to use it now. Okay. We can use Trickster to try to tap it down, but that doesn't do me much. Actually, no, it might. It might. We either can play Trickster, or we can play the Brazen Borrower to bounce it. I think it's better to use the Borrower after they've had more to put on it. Uh, downside to that, though, is that I can't play more than just the Trickster next turn, if I do that. Ah! Yeah, I, I see that. I see. I kind of would like to build my board a bit, but I don't think I can right now. Alright. Don't have solid footing. Don't have solid footing. Please do not have solid footing. Alright. 
There we go. Now, does this do us much? No, but it might maybe just buy us a turn. One weakness to this, though, is that they could suit up another creature if they feel like playing patiently. And that gets around Brazen Borrower, because then I'd have two things to bounce. And this list used to have more than one Brazen Borrower, it now just has one. So that's a bit of a concern. Oh, okay. We, we're probably going to have to use the Borrower this turn as a result. So that they can't use all seed. Actually, no. If we have a yep, yeah, we found a land. We just got a land. We just got a land. Now I can play more than one. Now I can play more than one. Oh my. Okay. So we can go Merfolk Trickster. Uh, they can use all seed, and then we can bounce it. That might work. Maybe. Okay. Let's go. Alright, let's try it. See what they do. Yep, okay, perfect. Let's make them do it. Alright, what you gonna do? Pop it, yes! That's what we want to see. That is exactly what we would like to see. This doesn't set them back much, though, because they still have plenty of mana. They can cast the Spirit Dancer and then cast another 1-drop and just start reloading again. But, I mean, we, we got somewhere. We did use both of our Tricksters, though. At this point, we need... Uh, yeah, okay, that's fine. They had another land, though. Yeah. I, since Spirit Dancer's gotten to do its thing, they get to draw all the cards. Yeah, what was that about, you know, I'm gonna play this so that I can try to attack more? It's not working out so far. Not so far. Oh my goodness. Well, we can try to go big, but I have a sneaking suspicion that doesn't win me the game either. Alright, let's try to draw into another answer. Uh, oh wait, no, this, there are two borrowers. We can't use one yet, but there we go. So I was wrong. I was, in this case, thankfully wrong. Alright, do they have another Cartouche of Solidarity? Yeah, this, this is kind of unfortunate. This kind of hurts. I'm not gonna lie, this kind of hurts. <laughs> I'm hurt, dog. Don't ask if I'm okay. Huh. Okay, I'm... Maybe it was... What else What else did I drop down to one, then? Because I could have sworn I brought Borrowered it to one. But I didn't, so it was... Kira? Maybe? Hmm. Oh, um... It was Wizard's Retort. Although I think that's at zero now, actually. So that might not. Anyway, now they get to just go to town. Are you going to play your Luris? Really? Are you going to play your Lur- Oh no, okay, good. Uh, well, it doesn't have Trample yet, does it? Not yet. Ah, oh, but it flies. Good game. Uh, and with the Ornithopter, that's game. I'll let them have it, just in case they have an attack quest, like I do. I'll let them have it. Go for it. Whoop! There we go. <laughs> boing! Woo! Boing, 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 boing. Alright. Well, so that didn't go too, too terribly well. I have no room to complain. I play that deck too. Yeah, we, uh, we just... The last game that I played prior to this put me to plat 3. So let's try that again. Oh, 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 I was going to show the deck. That's right. Time to show the deck. Did I attack at all? I did not attack at all. We're really not making progress towards that. Okay. Okay, master. All right, so four Benthic Biomancer, four Kumina Speaker, 
This is weird. This is really weird. I, normally you don't do something like this because these are not terribly impactful creatures. This one especially. It's just a 2-2. It's a one mana 2-2. Uh, and this one's fine later in the game when you need to filter out bad cards. You need to not just draw lands, for instance. However, small creatures that cost basically nothing are better in Lord decks because they're not such small creatures anymore. One mana for a 1-1 one -one, or maybe a 2 twos. Even in Historic, that's not great, even if it's technically above curve. One mana for a 4-4, though, is pretty sweet. So that's why we run so many of these. Uh, four Tricksters, four Silvergill Adepts, four Branch Walkers. I still have four Branch Walkers. Somehow, I have managed not to cut them yet. Uh, it's probably next on the chopping block, uh, but uh, I'm trying not to. All right, four Mistbinders, two Brazen... So we're getting in the, into the non merfolk Two Brazen Borrower, one Kira, one Kapala, instead of two Kira. It's partially because of the legendary rule, and it's partially because they work really well together, although Kapala is definitely not as good as Kira in almost all circumstances. Uh, but also, Kapala, and this is probably the reason that Kapala's not as good as Kira, Kapala's a merfolk. Kapala benefits from all the merfolk shenanigans, like Lord buffs or Mirror Regery. Uh, getting to tap or untap permanence. Uh, Icon of Ancestry can also find Kapala. This is a this is this is the new jank. Normally, one of the weaknesses to any sort of go wide creature decks is Wrath of God. Uh, well, Icon of Ancestry is not negate. That's that's one way you could get around it. You could be a deck that plays negate or Wizard's Retort and try to get around it that way. Or you can have something like Icon of Ancestry basically accepting the fact that you're going to get hurt by Wrath of God and then using it to try to rebuild afterwards. That's what this does. It also doesn't get hit by Uga and da 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 but, but what we care about is that it lets us rebuild. If you have to play something like Negate, then you have to slow yourself down. And while I'm an Infect player and I don't necessarily mind having to play patiently, uh, this is a really fast format, and it probably will be f till death on Arena. It's, it's going to be like that for a while. Uh, being able to just proactively play out your turn, excuse me, your turn every turn means that you won't end up losing because you played patiently when you shouldn't have. Uh, for example, holding up something like Negate against Goblins, or Wizard's Retort against Goblins. <laughs> well, you can use it there, but... Uh, this, this is fine. Icon is fine. That, admittedly, Goblins is probably still the match that I see more than any other. Also, you can get around damage-based removal if you can just get your creatures big enough. And while that is tricky to do, I haven't seen much Anger of the Gods lately. So, I guess it's possible. I will very much appreciate when we get a Simic uh, Two-Faced Land, uh, whatever those are called. Once we do, I'll be able to take out two islands, or maybe three islands and a forest. Uh, but they're still there because of Hinterland Harbor. Breeding Pool turns it on as well. I, there are way more islands because of Trickster. And also because of uh, Brazen Barber and Kira, where these don't work with Unclaimed Territory. All right, so that's that's the deck as it is. And then, uh, yeah, 22 lands. We have four Collected Companies, the one Artifact. Actually, here's another little bit of jank. I'm back to running one Tempest Caller, which can't be found with Collected Company, but which can be found with Icon of Ancestry. Uh, there's a 0% chance, unless I'm intentionally going budget and running Mono Blue, that I take out Collected Company. Uh, so I can never, at, unless for some reason I go out of Collected Company altogether, or out of the utility creatures like these, I won't be going back to four Tempest Callers again. But this is this is nice. This has saved me a time or twelve. I actually was recently playing a game against an opponent where the only out that I had was the one of Tempest Caller. Top decked. It was glorious. Good times. Good times. I was dead the next turn if I didn't find it. Big scoop. Which is what my opponent did when I well. Alright. Oh, why thank you. Why thank you, Arena. I would like that. Big scoop. Uh, because we don't run any counter magic, though, we lose to just about every unfair deck in the format.
Hello. Hello. But we we win against a... <laughs> we have game against just about everything, I guess is a good way of putting it. There we go. Hooray for the touch screen. Alright, let's see. We'll see what they play. Yeah, okay, so it... The fact that they didn't play a one-drop... <laughs> I wasn't sure. I thought maybe it was goblins, because they don't have too many. They have Skirt, Prospector, and Bust. Uh, first, let's put a stop. Let's attack first, see if they'll make the trade. If not, we'll use Merfolk Trickster on them. Alright, there we go. See if we can cut this thing off. We're trying not to play a Lord out yet because we're worried about Stomp. <laughs> I'm worried about Stomp the Yard. So they could fire something off in response. That would be a thing. Shock. Lightning Whoa! Okay, that's actually really good. We got rid of a lightning strike early. We will gladly take that. We will take that ten times out of ten. Holy crap. Okay. Oh, but they did still have something else. That's what I was expecting if they were... Oh! Ooh, that changes things. Kapala is interesting. No, it doesn't change things. Um... It might, actually. I could use Kapala. No, I, I think we just need to go big on Lords here. This isn't a deck that can run mass removal like Anger. We'll just take the hit from the Steamkin here. Actually, until we get Kapala out, we might even just take any hits that they dish out at us, instead of blocking. Okay. That's unfortunate. They would have been able to cast it even through Kapala, though. Oh my goodness, they couldn't have done both. Oh boy. Well, it's okay. It, it might work out. We have Coco in hand. Ooh. Really? I haven't seen this in a hot minute. Unless they sack a creature. Uh, I think we lose this one, folks. Hmm. Let's sack a creature. We have Coco. Alright. Let's do it. Okay. Regery Trickster. That's almost perfect. Alright, good. Good, good, good. So they didn't have any instants in hand. And they didn't there, so they don't have an instant. Whatever this is, it's not an instant. Castle Emberith is a problem, though. That's a plus one, plus oh, to, atta uh, to attacking creatures or creature? Oh, you stop that. You stop that right now. Creatures. Well, we need to not die, so we need to block here. Yeah. Take four, go to ten. Oh, we're very dead. Good game. Okay. Well, why not? That's very much a why not. Alright, now we get... No, oh, we didn't get knocked back to tier 4. Uh-oh. Okay. I'm not sure why. Murfolk, treat me better than this, please. I, I made it here with you. I know you can do it. I'll give it one more go. And if it works, great, and if not, I'll switch over to standard ranked, I suppose. Vape and bank. Okay. Yes. So, once it gives me the option, I'll put on full control, play the island, so that they might think that I have a, an opt or something, try to put me on the wrong deck. So we say hello, full control, play an island, and you know what, actually, in this case, no, never mind. We'll just we'll play out the Biomancer. Ooh, where mana flows, the Narlids follow. I guess I can get behind that. Ah, no, fire. Ah. Uh... Uh, 
I can get behind that. That might be wrong. Ooh, I wish, but we need the lands. I wish. This could still be goblins. It's every now and then goblins runs firebrand. This monkey is a goblin. It totally looks like a monkey. Alright, so we could play Biomancer out, or we could try to get Brazen Barber to do its job. That's actually why we're attacking first. In case they have any... Uh, yeah, okay. There we go. Well, now we have to play something. You know, if Brazen Barber lets you uh, return your own permanence too... You're... <laughs> Whee! Alright. I... Oh, yeah, they killed I was about to say, I imagine they'll have to kill that so that I don't get another land. Ooh! Ah, uh, okay. Well, I'm sorry for them, but dang. Alright. Oh, Experimental Frenzy! I haven't seen that in a long time. I've seen plenty of Mystic Forge because it's just better, but <laughs> Frenzy's good. Frenzy's alright. Alright. So then they'll play a kill spell, which also buff the... Yep, also buff the Sting Ken. And if I could get some mana, please, deck. I have a Kira in hand against the removal deck. I, I want to play it out. Now that it doesn't matter. But now that they only have three cards in hand. Please, come on, dude. You're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me. Okay, they didn't... Uh, okay. Oh, that's why. That's why. Uh-huh. Well, I guess better late than never, right? Oh, Jay, Jay, now would have actually been the time to use the borrower. You're about to get hit with a 4-4. Four -four. Dude. Dude. Ah, <sighs> jeez. Uh, just not focusing. That's just really dumb. No, no, actually, it might work out because of the Flame of Kelds 3. I wish that I could say that that's what I was thinking of, but I, had I returned it... Ah, here we go. Yeah, okay. That's, that's fine. They didn't... Wait. Did, they did have that before. Why didn't they play that out? Alright. I don't like doing it now, but you do what you have to do. Nope. Alright. So we have to use Kira to block here. Oh, jeez. We're still going to take four. And then... Thankfully, they don't have, like, a lightning strike, but we also aren't a deck that plays... <sighs> okay. Well, let's see if we can make them do it. Uh, they're doing it now. Okay. Alright, fire. Perfect. Alright. Tap you down. Oh, okay, good. So whatever that is, it's not an instant. We're still not going to win, but... I'd be darned if I don't try. Please find land. Land into Regery. Okay, good. Perfect. Alright. We're trying. I think I just need to attack here. Just for speed. The more turns I give them, the worse it gets. 4-3 goes here. 3-3 three, three goes here. I just kind of gave away to my opponent how I'm going to block. Uh-oh. Okay. We might still have it. Tap you. Alright. Tap you. Oh, well, that's fine. It works out, I guess. Okay. Do we have them? Who gets to attack? Yeah, we have them. Well, they haven't conceded yet. They have not conceded, so... Oh! Oh, okay. I'm about to say... 
about to say. Oh my goodness. They weren't at exactly 10, though. That was, that was interesting. Kudos to you. Kudos to you, opponent. I was spicy and I appreciate it. How many did we attack with that time? We only have 10. We still only have 10. Uh... It probably would not be faster for me to do this in standard because I attack with fewer creatures. This one requires me going wide, so we'll, we'll keep at it. I guess we'll just... this turned into a merfolk video, I suppose? As lots of them have lately. Oh, it's so bad. Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> Especially when it starts to cool down. But I didn't want to waste, so here we have it. Playing the Biomancer out later. Uh, ooh, okay. Attack first. There's no way. You're not... You're just... You better let it through. There we go. There we go. I'm proud of you. We can do Silver Go Adept Benthic Biobancer next turn. Uh... Brazen Borrower is actually kind of okay. Yeah, we'll keep it. We can use it after they've built up some decent prowess. Ooh. Okay. Cool. Cool story, bro. Oh! Hello! Not cool, actually. Not cool. And you. Draw a card. Draw. Monster card. And then pass it right along. Can't block here. I'm sorry. You what, mate? Ooh! So when it deals combat damage to a player, Ooh! Ooh, my goodness. Oh, that's spicy. Well... I could also try to force them to use up one of their cards in hand by hitting the Soul Scar Mage. Should I try to keep the opponent locked down? Oh, man. I actually don't know enough about this deck to know how likely this is to work. We'll try this. Even though I have a Rejury, so it's probably not a great idea to give up one of my creatures, I have a Rejury and an Icon, so this is probably wrong. It's hard for me not to, though, against the prowess deck. I tr I'm trying not to let them live too long, if I can help it. Ooh, never mind. Never mind. Actually, that turned out to be the right play, just not for the reason I was expecting. Okay. Ah, that's fine. It's not ideal. Jeez. Uh, well, you have one. Yes! Yes! Okay, they didn't have something. They went too quickly. I figured that they didn't have something because of just how quickly it changed for them. Now they have to return the other one. Okay! Crap. Alright, well, they have a Lava Runner coming next turn. That won't be fun. If I can draw a land here, then the Merfolk Branch Walker into Trickster would be okay. Let's try it. Ah, uh, I, I wish, buddy. I wish. Okay, so here comes Lava Runner. Block there. Force them to put them both back. If we can just last a little bit longer, maybe, maybe we could set up a wall. But I don't think that we can at this point. No, actually we have Trickster. So we, yeah, we probably can. Pick one, doesn't matter. That one. You going to attack? Heck yeah, you're going to attack. 
and I'm going to eat you. Om nom 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 nom. Ah, uh, you stop that. You stop that right now. Oh boy. Oh boy. Does this have to? No, it doesn't. I was wondering if it had to attack each turn, if able. Uh... Attack. Do it. Scaredy cat, do it. Alright. Yeah, this is not going well. I don't think we're going to make it. I am positive at this point that we are not going to make it. Alright, are you ready for the double brazen borrower play? Because I'm not. I'm sure as heck not. Oh, they had another creature. No, no, it's it's Firebrand though. No, we're still dead. We're still dead. Whee! I'm trying, folks. <laughs> At this point, I'm just being kind of cute. Well, I guess I'm always, you know, that's fine. Because see, now once they untap, they can just poke me right away. And it's done. I don't have any life gain. Good game. Give him the good game. Ah. I did plenty of blocking. Ah. Uh, oh well, it happens. Only 22 lands. Getting enough lands can be a trick sometimes, unfortunately. Yeah, we did only attack with the speaker that game, didn't we? Tawai. Right, just about an hour, and we're not even- we're just over a third of the way through- ooh! Uh, sure. Watch us not find the green for Coco, though. That'll be... unfortunate. Woohoo! Alright. Yeah, when I when I see that I don't have my colors against a Luris deck, that's generally not a good thing. Never mind, we found them. They were hiding. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna hold that up though. We're gonna wait on that one. Alright, play you. Yeah, this is unfortunate. So we're about to give our opponent three more cards for the Luris deck. If I had a trickster in hand, I could try to do some shenanigans where I, uh, I can negate its ability. But alas, I cannot. No Croxa yet, thank goodness. So let's see what they do have. Supplier? Oh, jeez. Uh, well, I mean, I guess Village Rights isn't the worst thing to have if that's the only instant or sort. Nope, never mind, they have Claim. Oh, great. Well, no, 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 we have Brazen Borrower. Actually, no, this works out. Surprise, mother... <laughs> Alright, we can go with Rejury this turn, but I, I think it's probably better to do this. Let's return that to hand, a.k.a. destroy it. Alright, this is not a deck that tends to run mass removal. Anger, languish, anything like that. Well, they can because Luris only cares about permanence being CMC 2 or less, but they just don't. They just have too many creatures. Young Pyromancer and its tokens, Dread, Dreadhorde Arcanus, case in point, Luris, uh, they don't want to exile Zombie Boy. That's boy spelled B-O-I. I don't know if you're... I think you're a girl. Yeah, yeah, you're a girl, actually. Stitcher Supplier's a girl. Stitcher Supplier is a girl confirmed. <laughs> what on earth am I doing, folks? Okay, um... Well, that's an unusual bunch to have in the yard. I think I'm going to wait and try to use Coco before they go to combat. Alright. Well, they're looking in their yard. That's scary. That's always scary. And they, they know I have Coco. I have four lands and I didn't play a Rejury. They know I have Coco. Okay. We'll wait. Alright. 
hold priority, not hold priority, immediately before I have a chance to respond, cast Thought Seize. Do it now. You know you want to. Claim. Okay. Claim for Stitcher Supplier. Um, what else could they have? If I don't do this now... Yeah, we'll fire it off now. Huh. Okay. Regery Trickster or Double Trickster? Double Trickster would let me hit Arcana's Pyromancer. Actually, no, this is fine, because if Trickster taps down Arcana's, they won't get to do it again anyway. Alright. Oh, there went Clank. Oh, but there's Croxa. Oh, boy. Oh, boy! Oh, boy, oh, boy! Hmm. Okay. So that leaves Claim in the yard for Arcanist, which is... which kind of sucks. To be honest, kind of sucks. And they have village rights to... well, oh, there they go. Okay. That's unfortunate. That means I won't get to do the tap shenanigans that I would have liked to. Uh, we still didn't find another land. So we can go... In that case, if we play Regery, we can't play the other. So I guess I should go Silvergill Adept draw, reveal the one that they've already seen. Ah, uh, okay. We need to puke out a Lord. We still have a 3 2 back to block the Arcanist. But I'm only going to attack with these and leave two three twos back. It does mean that if Pyromancer attacks, which it won't, but if it does, I don't have a creature that can block it that won't trade. But they will not. They absolutely will not, under any circumstances, attack with Pyromancer. They're not. They're not there yet. You attack with Pyromancer if they don't have any creatures, or if you need to for lethal, or if you have a trick in hand, and you're trying to bait them. I guess they're doing that for Crocs. Yeah, they are. I can see the graveyard, but why didn't it not just automatically create that mana? Hmm. Alright, so we lose the branch walker. Spark Harvest. Spark Harvest Mistbind. No, Claim! Ooh! They must have Village Rights in hand. Because otherwise, why wouldn't you just destroy it? Yeah, this is unfortunate. They totally have something else, though. If I double block here, I can kill it? I'm not sure that that's right, though. Alright. Well, let's try to do this now so that they can't use Spark Harvest on me next turn. Oh, oh, what do they have? Ah, ha, we got there. Amazingly. I would say that they have Lurus Shenanigans going... Ah, oh, they did. They had, they had Village Rights. Lurus Shenanigans, but, uh... Not yet they don't. Oh, boy. Uh, let's tap this down, and let's let's shoot for the moon. Even if we miss, we land amongst the stars, right? Ooh, okay. I like that. One, just chump block. Yeah, they're on chump block duty, instead of spending three of them to kill one of my creatures. Oh. Oh. I like that. I like that quite a bit. Alright, so, Double Fame, no, the, Arcon oh, they had another Arcanist. Jeez, that sucks. That sucks. Okay. Whale, Whale. Hmm. 
there goes Luris. Okay. So we better do it this coming turn. Hopefully I'll find a merfolk. Alright, if they're attacking with just Croxa, we take it. Yeah, we, we take it so that we can try to use Biomancer's ability if we need to. Alright. Here goes. They don't have enough mana for uh, fame, so no more tokens from Pyromancer unless they have specifically Thought Seas or Spark Harvest. Or Village Rites. Oh! Or we could have that. That might work. Alright, let's see if we can do it. Yes! Alright. I wish they had given me a chance to at least attack for her so I could complete the stupid quest eventually. That would be nice. Maybe at some point. Ooh, I'm watching my battery go down on there. How much time do I have left on there? Uh, 20 minutes, give me a sec. I'll be right back. You know what? It might take me a bit longer, but I think I would like to go back to Brawl for a bit. <laughs> it might take me a hot minute, though, uh, since earlier, after two wins, we got one attack <laughs> in a mono green deck. But I'll, I'll try for it. I mean, I did start this out as a standard Brawl video, so... Okay. Let's see. That's fine. That's fine. We can go next turn... you know. <laughs> Love it when it gives away that you have an X spell like that. Right. Lotus Cobra into... Oh, jeez. Uh, I guess... Great Horn... or Land? Landfall? Great Horn? Ooh, okay. Let's go make green. Green. Alright. Great horn on you. Uh, put it over. Get another. And then make green. Make green, not war. <laughs> Alright. And hiya. And then next turn Vivian and just go crazy. Or at least that's the plan. Uh, that's the plan, Dan. Oh, Beanstalk Jump. It's like... <laughs> it's like we're doing the same thing. Hmm. Yeah, Nylea would also be nice for this deck. I just don't have one. That's it. I just... Sorry, what, what are you going to do? What I'm going to do is put it in at some point. Even though I have 20-something Mythic Wild Cards, I'm still reluctant to spend them if it's just for Brawl. Uh, but on the other hand, I don't actually get to play um, other formats as much as I would like. For Historic and Standard Ranked, I just play the same three decks over and over again. And I play Brawl occasionally, like Rukulin. Um, it's been a while since Michael and I have jammed a game, but that would be kind of neat. That would be kind of cool. Let's see what's coming off the top of my deck here. I have a Feasting Troll King next turn. In this case, we'll go for Vigilance. We'll put a Vigilant creature out. I don't know if I'd actually like to use... Yeah, I guess we could throw the Mammoth out. Let's attack first. Hiya. Also... Questing Beast would be another example of a card I would spend. Yeah, yeah, let's play it out. That'll work out. Should have spent it on... nothing. There aren't even that many plus one plus one enablers in this deck. It's basically there just because it's an X creature. So, it has a variable cost. I can, you, I can at any point in the game use it to, for something. Just to get a creature out early, or get a oh jeez, bigger creature out later. Uh, that's a four-four with trample. If they attack, I'll block and take one. I'd rather not, but you do what you have to do. Or if they attack Vivian, I'll block and take one. All right. There we go. That'll do it. All right. What's off the top? Yeah, um, in that case, we have six mana, so let's do this, let's go for it, Feasting Troll King, 
So we can play anything 5 mana or less, which it usually sorts back here. Usually. Sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> okay. 10-10 uh, versus mono green is actually kind of sick. Renata, though... Um... Hmm. Now, given what I've seen, let's take the 10-10. Oh, boy. Uh, sorry, Stone Coil. Yeah, let's, uh, uh, let's attack. Boom. In turn. We'll probably end up blocking with the Feasting Troll King, because even if it dies, I can get it back readily enough. Yeah, sack three foods, return it from your graveyard to the battlefield, <laughs> activate this ability only during your turn. Hmm. Hi, Nylia. That's a problem. That's a problem. Oh, okay. Bummer. Bummer, dude. Yeah, in the mono green mirror, whoever gets ahead first wins. That's kind of just how it goes. Yeah. Actually, I might spend the wild card on Nylia. Uh... Nylia and Questing Beast. I only have... Oh, and Destiny... Oh, well, I actually, Destiny Spinner used to be in this deck. Maybe you should be again. I'm not sure. Uh, I haven't come across a lot of counter shenanigans, although I should because it's 1v1. O outside of the 017 Crab deck, I, I don't really think I've seen them all that much. Hmm... See, finding room, though, is the trick. Where do I... Where do I put them in? Alright, so how many am I at now? 24. You know what? I guess something like Questing Beast is still a card I would get some use out of. I suppose I could. Hmm. It's not, you know, given w given the kind of standard that we have in standard nowadays, it's not to the point where it could be banned. But uh, questing beast Embercleave. Wait, why am I typing Vivian? Questy, and then sort by not collected. Let's put one in here, and then let's go for Nylia as well. Adding one Nylia keen-eyed. We'll, we'll leave this out. Okay, so now I need to find two cards to take out. Usually they're either smaller cards that are less impactful, though I don't have too many of those left. I, I say that. I We have weird stuff like this, but I still need the ramp. So we'll keep that around. Glowstone Recluse. Uh, there are only four mono-green mutate cards in the format. Or just in Magic. Um, you know, I need to keep you around, because even though you're not a creature, you make creatures, and if I can get to the point where I can pop your emblem, I just win the game. So let's not take that out. Now I need to find some spots. This isn't a creature, but it's just so many cards. It's kind of dead, though, if you don't have a creature. Uh, like if you just got hit by a Shatter the Sky or something, but... Otherwise, it's always great. And then we have some of the big dudes here that aren't actually all that great. There's Tree Shaker Chimera, which is wrath insurance, basically. And also, it just clears the way. If you have, like, a swarm board and you get this out, all creatures able to block it do so, so it clears the way for everybody else. That's always fun. Uh, Thorn Mammoth is probably not good enough, uh, to be honest. Um, I like the effect that it can molt, that it can fight over and over and over, but one, Cogla already does that. Uh, two, this thing is a 6-6, six, six, and it must fight each time. It's not a May, it must, which is also true for Cogla. Um, but just, just compare it. Same mana cost, well, same converted mana, no, no, cheaper! Cheaper converted mana cost, but bigger dude, and gets to destroy artifacts or enchantments, and you can return a human, not that we have that many, uh, to give it indestructible. So yeah, let's take out Thorn Mammoth and... Ah... Uh, I still would like to keep you around. Even though, again, I don't have that many 
plus one plus one shenanigans in the deck. Just because I can make you have a variable cost. Yeah, let's do a quick count for how many we have. Because this only cares about plus one plus one counters. So one. Yeah, I can already tell this is gonna be much. Yeah, let's let's try it without you. So one, two, and instead we have Nylia and Questing Beast. Actually, Nylia Scourge would be an interesting little combo, just to make it cost one less. You get you get it bigger. Reveal the top card of your library if it's a creature, put it in your hand. Yeah. Um still, we'll try it. I guess I could take out uh, Lovestruck Beast, but that's a 3 mana 5-5. Five five. Uh, I don't know. Do I have any... I have Flaxen Intruder. But I don't have that many 1-drops to begin with. I have 4. So taking out a 1-drop doesn't seem all that great. Although this is Brawled, so... Because of the Singleton and Standard nature of it, you typically don't see a lot of 1-drops anyway. There just isn't a great selection of them. Or it's not that there's not a great selection, it's that because you can only play one of each, it's easy to quickly saturate the num the, the one drops that are worth playing. Uh, Humble Naturalist only works for creatures, which is most of the deck, but not my commander. Still, I think it's worth hanging on to. And then you have weird stuff like this and this, but we'll, we'll, we'll be okay. We'll, we'll be alright. I'll, I'll try it this way. They're definitely better cards that I added in, but I wonder if there's something worse that I could have taken out instead. And the answer's probably yes, I just... I don't know. I don't know. I know uh, um, King Kong is supposed to be... No, Kagala, I think is its name, is supposed to be a King Kong reference, but for some reason, seeing the name, I... It, it reminds me of a uh, Castle Caglioso. Just, I have no idea. It's it's real. It's messed up word association. Messed up real time word association. Uh, well, we can either play this as a land or we can use it for ramp. Let's use it for ramp instead. Let's go. We don't have a mutate card, so we'll play Adventurous Impulse first. Ooh, uh, Visionary seems okay. So next turn, Florhedron. Turn after that, Visionary. Ow. Now this cares about your life total being se Okay, not 27, but 7 more than your starting total. Let's play this one first. Alright, here we go. It's interesting that it gives you the option after you've already played your land. I guess that's bug avoidance, right? It's to try to make it where... Hide an set. Uh, if... You should have the option. It makes sure you get the option. It, it isn't overridden by uh, the game not seeing that you would have had the opportunity. That's okay. Ow. Oh no. All right, so they're three up. Draw a card. Draw. Monster card. Oh, that's interesting. I don't. I don't hate that. They just return my creature that gets to draw me a card to hand. They haven't hit another land drop yet, though. They have Brazen Borrower in hand, so I have to be careful about what I play next. This is standard, so Dwari Disruption is a thing. I should probably play the land first. Let's see. Alternatively, I could play Nylia. Yeah, let's go for it. All right, in before it gets countered. Oh, okay. Uh, do I want to play the free mysterious egg? Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Let's go. Ah, oh, no. Oh, no. All right, so they're, they're about to go to five up. I'll block it. I need to start dealing some damage right now, right freaking now. Okay, so let's see. We can go for... have enough to play out the feasting, feasting, whatever. Feasting, beasting. 
Alright, see if they'll let me. Okay, good. Draw. Good. Alright, well now we can kill the speaker, at least. Unless they can start gaining life. If they find a land, they can play Narset, and then immediately speaker gets turned on, and then we're in trouble. Oh, never mind. Alright, so now we'd have to actually trade. Oh, they found it. That's game. That's a good game. I'll probably end up attacking just to... Well, let's see. What, what do we have from here that can get rid of that? Nothing. There's... We don't have enough mana for Kagala, even if we could find it. Because if we found Kagala here, King Kong, we wouldn't have enough... Yeah, especially now. Oh! Oh! They didn't gain life. Uh, see, right there. There you are. Hey, buddy. So I think that the answer is I have to play Questing Beast here. Pretty much. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for the animation to go away. Alright. So, the trick here is that when it deals damage to an opponent, it deals that much damage to, to a Planeswalker they control as well. Boom. And then kill Narset. So, thankfully, we got ourselves away from it. Yeah, Questing Beast is a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Look at how much text that is. <laughs> as someone who still plays oh, when I can find someone to play it with me, Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Uh, hi, Teferi. I, I mean, that's okay, actually. I shouldn't complain. That's all right. The phase is going to turn me off from it a little bit, which is unfortunate because Questing Beast can kill Teferi. It's just not going to happen this turn. Also, the way that that's worded... Yeah, creature you don't control. Alright. Make them phase out now. Phase it out. What? Okay. Ooh! Are you just going to let this happen? No, surely not. Alright, there we go. That's more like it. Alright. Let's see what we have going on here. So if it's phased out, it doesn't exist for the purpose of... Garuk's Uprising. Yeah, I, I believe that that's how that works. Also, notice it doesn't have the... No? Never mind. Hmm, okay then. I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking, folks. I'm working on it. I guess let's just cast a giant uh, serpent then. Alright, it goes nothing. It does have reach. Take that, Brazen Borrower. Not that they can't get out of this. I'm trying to make Shatter the Sky as bad for them as possible. Not that they'd play it this turn anyway, because they wouldn't be able to kill the Questing Beast. It's phased out still. Oh, and they don't have the mana for it. They still haven't found the second white. Narset's coming pretty soon, but Stone Coil Serpent doesn't have to... Oh, wow. Can I ever finish this 30 attack quest? Please? <laughs> this is not ranked. <laughs> I love it when it does that, though. This is not ranked. Can I ever... Oh, wait. No, I didn't. Okay. Please? <laughs> we are so close. <laughs> Alright, okay. No, no. We're going to try to finish it this game. One more game of ranked. Hopefully, I'll have it this time. If it looks like I'm about to lose, I'll just do an all-out swing just to finish this quest. Oy, oy, oy. Hi, Condor. Alright, island first. I do this entirely too much. Like, <laughs> like have the... Who's the Aladdin villain, Jafar? I'm doing the Jafar... Oh, whatever. So, uh, first we tell them hello. There we go. Then we hold full control, play the island, wait a second, pass. Make, it, make them think that we have opt or something. Then put up full control again. Oh, well, okay, that's good. And... Boop, boop. 
believe it. Aha! Okay. Well, that is a Zagoth Triome. Uh. <laughs> well. Well. Ooh, Thought Erasure. One of these days, eventually, I will end up playing a Four Thought Seeds, Four Thought Erasure deck in Historic. And I will be unstoppable because those cards... <laughs> Targeted discard is, or a discard that lets you choose what you take, turns out it's pretty good. Okay, so given that, mm, I'm a little bit worried about the kill spells. Let's play out Kira. Right. We still have to worry about things like Zogoth, or like um, Languish, Ritual of Soot, stuff like that. Ritual of Soot just destroys us. Agonizing Remorse, okay. Yeah, oh my goodness, there's a there's a world where I'm playing four Agonizing Remorse, four Thought Erasure, four Thought Seas. <laughs> and I'm just basically trolling my opponent, I suppose. Um, yeah. Show them one they already know about. Okay. Two be careful about playing too much out, but if we can get within threat range, we're okay. Kira doesn't get benefit from the buff, but we're looking at 6, 10, 12, uh, if we get to play both Mistbinders next turn. If not, I'll hold up Trickster. Hydroid Crisis as a 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, so they kind of forced our hand. We need to play one of them. No, we don't. No, we don't. We can play the Trickster instead, but they do already know about that. Uh, they could use it to block Kira, though. Ooh. Where is your Uro now? Yeah, let's play this out now. Alright. This makes Mistbinder lethal next turn. I do want to be careful about overdeveloping and running into removal, but I haven't seen a second black for Ritual or Languish yet. Or not yet, Ritual of Soot or Languish. So... I'm less worried about it since I don't see it. We could see, or no, we couldn't see. Yeah, no, they don't have the uh, green. No, yeah, we could. They could, because that's Zogoth Triumph. That's right. That's right. It's green, blue, one. Shark Typhoon. That's a good game. Kira, unfortunately. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we finally got there. We finally got our thirty attacks. It took freaking forever. But we finally got there. Oh my goodness. This is what, like an hour and a half? <laughs> okay. Let's see what we got. Avon Gaggle Master. Completely not worth it. I... Actually, actually, I guess for the, like, three flying commanders we have, I guess, we have another pack. Let's open it. Let's open it. Uh, another ruined crab. All the ruined crabs. And I think that makes the third relic robber. What's this one again? Hmm. Oh. Okay. So you can't block in at the beginning of your upkeep. It deals one damage to you. Hey. Uh, I don't. Here, you take it. I don't get the flavor behind this. Uh, it creates a Goblin Construct Artifact Creature token. First of all, say that five times quickly. Uh, the token can't block, and at the beginning of your upkeep, it deals one damage to you. How, how is it making creatures that are hurting you? Wouldn't that... I don't... I don't know. I don't, I don't get that. I don't get that. Now, because I've been in an Ikoria spree for approximately forever trying to get all of the Trilands, end up opening one more of those. Uno mas, one more. Always one more, though. This is actually turning out to be one of my favorite sets, so I appreciate that. Another Narset. This puts me at three, I believe. Which I'm, I guess I'm okay with. If I had any copies of Shatter the Sky, I would be playing Jeskai Control in Standard. Not that it's necessarily good, 
but I would absolutely be playing it. I I just like playing Control, and I think my favorite card in Standard right now is Inspired Ultimatum, because it's the closest thing we have to Cruel Ultimatum. It's a something like a seven for one. <laughs> Deal five, gain five, draw five. Yeah, gee, one of these is better than the others. <laughs> It's totally gain five. That's totally the no. Uh, but yeah, that's that's pretty neat. But I only have one rare, and I don't think I'm going to be spending it on Shatter the Sky so that I can play that in Standard. Maybe I should. It would be fun. And actually, the deck is pretty much done except for Shatter the Sky, but you, you kind of have to have a Wrath. And even then, <laughs> sometimes that's not enough thanks to our good friend Embercleave, right? Ay ay ay. All right. I guess that's it for now. I'm going to save these just in case there's a gem daily deal tomorrow. Just in case. Y you see we're pretty close to having enough for a mastery pass. I just need one more 500 gem, gem daily deal uh, and then two rare wild cards that I or rare drops that I already have which give 20 each. One Mythic that I already have, which means Brazen Barber, or a second 500, uh, and that'll get me there. Ah, maybe. <laughs> and once again, the, the rares that I ended up picking up were... What were they? It was... they were... Uh, Magmatic Channeler, and I think Ruin... Or inscription of ruin was the other, so I can I can live with those for sure. Or no, wait, maybe if Sass's intervention was the other one because this is not in Zen. It would have to be one that's not from Zendikar Rising. All right, and on that happy note, nap time. Nope, nope, not nap time. We have more work to do, uh, but that's it for right now anyway. So take care, Magic Community. I guess I'll see you all later. <laughs> bye bye.